Beauty and the Beast. Once upon a time in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late. But as punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which will bloom until his twenty-first year. If he could learn to love another and earn her love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Hello, Belle. Bonjour, Gaston. Gaston, may I have my book, please? How can you read this? There's no pictures. Well, some people use their imagination. Belle, it's about time you got your head out of those books and paid attention to more important things, like me. Please, Gaston, I have to get home and help my father. Ha ha ha, that crazy old loon. Don't you talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about her father that way. My father's not crazy. He's a genius. Papa, are you all right, Papa? I'm about ready to give up on this hunk of junk. You always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get this boneheaded contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you will win first prize at the fair tomorrow and become a world famous inventor. You really believe that? I always have. I think that's done it. Now let's give it a try. It works. It does. It does. You did it. You really did it. I'm off to the fair. Goodbye, Papa. Good luck. Goodbye, Belle. And take care while I'm gone. This can't be right. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 no. Help. Is someone there? Hello? Hello? Old fellow must have lost his way in the woods. Keep quiet. Maybe he'll go away. Is someone there? Not a word, Lumiere. Not one word. I don't mean to intrude, but I need a place to stay for the night. Of course, monsieur. You are welcome here. Who said that? Allo? Oh, incredible. Oh, you are soaked to the bone, monsieur. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Thank you. No, 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 no. Do you know what the master would do if he finds you here? Oh, no, not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. How would you like a nice spot of tea, sir? I'll warm you up in no time. No, no tea, no tea. There's a stranger here. Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was lost in the woods and he was cold and wet. Master, I'd like to take this moment to say I was against this from the start. I tried to stop them, but would they listen to me? No, no, no. Who are you? What are you doing here? I was lost in the woods and you are not welcome here. I'm sorry, I just needed a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it though? I'm just full of surprises, you know, Belle? There's not a girl in town who wouldn't love to be in your shoes. 
This is the day. This is the day your dreams come true. What do you know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. Here, picture this a rustic hunting lodge, my latest kill roasting on the fire, and my little wife massaging my feet, while the little ones play with the dogs. We'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, Belle. Strapping boys like me. Imagine that. And do you know who that wife will be? Let me think. You, Belle. Gaston, I'm speechless. I really don't know what to say. Say you'll marry me. I'm very sorry, Gaston, but I just don't deserve you. So, how did it go? I'll have Belle for my wife, make no mistake about that. Touchy. Is he gone? Can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. Where's Papa? What happened? What is this place? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Papa? Papa, are you here? Did you see that? It's a girl. I know it's a girl. Don't you see? She's the one. The girl we have been waiting for. She has come to break the spell. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Papa? Papa? Hello? Is someone here? Wait, I'm looking for my father. Belle? Oh, Papa, how did you find me? Oh, your hands are like ice. We have to get you out of here. Belle, I want you to leave this place. Who's done this to you? No time to explain. You must go now. What are you doing here? Run, Belle. Who are you? The master of this castle. I've come from my father. Please let him out. Can't you see he's sick? Then he shouldn't have trespassed here. But he could die. Please, I'll do anything. There's nothing you can do. He's my prisoner. Take me instead. You? You would take his place? Bell, no, you don't know what you're doing. If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here forever. Come into the light. No, Bell, I won't let you do this. You have my word. Done. Wait, Bell. Master? What? Since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time, I was thinking that you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. Then again, maybe not. You didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll never see him again. I didn't get to say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? But I thought. You want to stay in the tower? No. Then follow me. Say something to her. Hmm. Oh, I, um, hope you like it here. The castle is your home now, so you can go anywhere you wish, except the West Wing. What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden. Now, if there's anything you need, my servants will attend you. Invite her to dinner. You will join me for dinner. That's not a request. Who does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. No one says no to Gaston. Darn right. Dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. Why, it's more than I can bear. More beer? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Who, you? Never. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Help, someone help me. Maurice? Please, please, I need your help. He's got her. He's got her locked in the dungeon. Who? Belle, we must go. Not a minute to lose. Whoa, slow down, Maurice. Who's got Belle locked in a dungeon? A beast. A horrible, monstrous beast. All right, old man. We'll help you out. 
You will? Oh, thank you, thank you. Crazy old Maurice. Hmm. Will no one help me? Who is it? Miss Potts, dear, I thought you might like a spot of tea. But you, uh, but I. Oof, careful. This is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. But I've lost my father, my dreams, everything. Cheer up, child. It'll turn out all right in the end. You'll see. Well, now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Oh, but you must. What's taking so long? I told her to come down. Why isn't she here yet? Oh, try to be patient, sir. The girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Ah,、uh, master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. But the rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful, and I'm so. Well, look at me. Oh, you must help her to see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you can start by making yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Ah, yes. When she comes in, give her a dashing, debonair smile. Come, come. Show me the smile. But don't frighten the poor girl. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And above all, you must control your temper. Well, where is she? Who? Oh, the girl. Yes, the、uh, girl. Well, actually, she's in the process of.、Uh, Um, circumstances being what they are,、uh, she's not coming. What? Your Grace, Your Eminence, let's not be hasty. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. You'll come out or I'll, I'll break down the door. Master, I could be wrong, but that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please attempt to be a gentleman. Gently, gently. Will you come down to dinner? No. Suave, gentil. It would give me great pleasure if you would join me for dinner. Ahem, ahem. We say please. Please. No, thank you. You can't stay in there forever. Yes, I can. Fine. Then go ahead and starve. If she doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat at all. That didn't go very well at all, did it? Lumiere, stand watch at the door and inform me at once if there is the slightest change. You can count on me, mon capitaine. Why, the master's not so bad once you get to know him. Why don't you give him a chance? I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. It's hopeless. Zut alors, she has emerged. Splendid to see you out and about, mademoiselle. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. This is Lumiere. If there's anything that we can. Please, to make your stay more comfortable. I am a little hungry. You are? Hear that? She's hungry. Stoke the fire. Remember what the master said? Oh, pish tosh. I'm not going to let the poor child go hungry. Well, keep it down. If the master finds out about this, it will be our necks. Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music? Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pleasure and greatest pride that I welcome you tonight. And now we invite you to relax. 
Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Bravo, that was wonderful. Thank you, thank you, mademoiselle. Yes, good show, wasn't it, everyone? Oh, my goodness, will you look at the time? Now it's off to bed, off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. Enchanted? Who said anything about the castle being enchanted? I, um, figured it out for myself. I'd like to look around, if that's all right. Oh, would you like a tour? Wait a second. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. We can't let her go poking around in certain areas, if you know what I mean. Perhaps you could take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, uh, yes, I do. What's up there? Where? Up there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing of interest at all in the West Wing. Dusty, dull, very boring. I wonder what he's hiding up there. Hiding? The master is hiding nothing. Then it wouldn't be forbidden. Perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to maybe later. The gardens or the library, perhaps? You have a library? Oh, yes, indeed. With books. Gads of books. Mountains of books. More books than you'll ever be able to read in a lifetime. Books on every subject ever studied. By every author who ever set pen to paper. Why did you come here? I'm sorry. I warned you never to come here. I didn't mean any harm. Do you realize what you could have done? Please stop. No, get out. Get out. Wh where are you going? Promise or no promise, I can't stay here another minute. Oh no, wait. Please wait. Here now. Oh, don't do that. That hurts. If you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. Well, if you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. Well, if you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. Well, you should learn to control your temper. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. I don't usually leave the asylum in the middle of the night, but they said you'd make it worth my while. It's like this. I've got my heart set on marrying Belle, but she needs a little persuasion. Turned him down flat. Everyone knows her father's a lunatic. Maurice is harmless. The point is, Belle would do anything to keep him from being locked up. Yeah, even marry him. So you want me to throw her father in the asylum unless she agrees to marry you? Oh, that is despicable. I love it. I've never felt this way about anyone. Well, there's the usual things, flowers, chocolates, promises that you don't intend to keep. Ah, uh, no, no. It has to be something very special. Something that sparks her inter... Wait a minute. Bell, there's something I want to show you. But first, you have to close your eyes. It's a surprise. Can I open them? No, no, not yet. Wait here. Now can I open them? All right. Now. I can't believe it. I've never seen so many books in all my life. What's there, Mama? I'll tell you when you're older. Right. Need I remind you that if the last petal falls from this rose, the spell will never be broken. Very well. Besides, they must fall in love tonight if we ever expect to be human again. Ah, human again. Human again. Yes, think what that means. Tonight is the night. I'm not sure I can do this. You don't have time to be timid. You care for the girl, don't you? More than anything. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Your lady awaits. 
Belle, are you happy here with me? Yes. What is it? If only I could see my father again, just for a moment. I miss him so much. This mirror will show you anything, anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. Papa, oh no, he's sick. He may be dying, and he's all alone. Then, then you must go to him. What did you say? I release you. You are no longer my prisoner. You mean, I'm free? Yes. Oh, thank you. Hold on, Papa. I'm on my way. Take it with you, so you'll always have a way to look back and remember me. Thank you for understanding how much he needs me. Well, Your Highness, I must say everything is going just peachy. I knew you had it in you. I let her go. Ha ha ha, yes, split. You what? How could you do that? I had to. Yes, but why? Because I love her. She's going away? But he was so close. After all this time, he's finally learned to love. That's it then. That should break the spell. But it's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late. Belle? It's all right, Papa. I'm home. I thought I'd never see you again. I missed you so much. But the beast, how did you escape? I didn't escape, Papa. He let me go. That horrible beast? But he's different now. He's changed somehow. May I help you? I've come to collect your father. My father? Don't worry, mademoiselle. We'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? Yeah. No, I won't let you. Belle? Ah, Maurice, tell us again, old man, just how big was the beast? Well, he was, that is, enormous. I'd say at least eight, no more like ten feet. Well, you don't get much crazier than that. It's true, I tell you. Take him away. Let go of me. No, you can't do this. Poor Belle, it's a shame about your father. You know he's not crazy, Gaston. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if... If what? If you marry me. What? One little word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never. Have it your way. Belle, let go of me. My father's not crazy and I can prove it. Show me the beast. Is it dangerous? Oh no, he'd never hurt anyone. Please, I know he looks vicious, but he's really kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for this monster. He's no monster, Gaston. You are. She's as crazy as the old man. The beast will make off with your children. He'll come after them in the night. I knew it. I knew it was foolish to get our hopes up. Maybe it would have been better if she had never come at all. Could it be? Is it she? Invaders! Warn the master. If it's a fight they want, we'll be ready for them. Take whatever booty you can find. But remember, the beast is mine. What shall we do, master? It doesn't matter now. Just let them come. Kill the beast. Kill the beast. Now. And stay out. Get up. Get up. What's the matter, beast? Too kind and gentle to fight back? No. Bell. Gaston, don't. Come on out and fight. Were you in love with her, beast? Did you honestly think she'd want you when she had someone like me? It's over, beast. Bell is mine. Put me down. Put me down. Please don't hurt me. I'll do anything. Anything. Get out. Beast. Bell, you came back. Of course I came back. I couldn't let them. Oh, this is all my fault. If only I'd gotten here sooner. 
Maybe it's better this way. Don't talk like that. You'll be all right. We're together now. Everything's going to be fine. You'll see. At least I got to see you one last time. No, no, please. Please don't leave me. I love you. Belle, it's me. It is you. Lumiere, Cogsworth. Oh, Miss Potts, look at us. Mama, Mama. Oh, my goodness. It is a miracle.